All right, yeah, we are right now. We are gonna we're gonna start with uh, my first impression of Banjo after playing the character for a little bit now in matches and uh, messing around with him in training mode. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, at first, we're gonna wrap up the moves or you know show the moves. And then I'll talk a little bit about him. So let's start with let's start with grab, uh, down throw, uh, berry animation. This one you can mash out of super super quickly. Uh, from what I've noticed so far, this move is not really going to be used much whatsoever. Maybe it's super super high damages, uh, but that's about it. Uh, forward throw since a little bit too high up, so you're not really going to get any tech chases from it, uh, which is kind of bad. Uh, back throw is actually quite strong for kills uh, So if you get you know a grab especially next to uh, next to the ledge uh, Back throw can actually be like quite decent uh, Like not the best strength, but it's not bad either So it's okay. It's okay for a kill throw uh, Up throw I guess is the throw you are gonna use the most with banjo uh, up throw up air is not true, uh, but at the very least you put them in like a little bit of a tricky scenario. Uh, if they're gonna jump, if they're gonna air dodge. So even though it's not true true, uh, same thing with like up throw and up tilt, not true either. Uh, but I think up throw up tilt and up throw jump up air or jump wait for air dodge. It's gonna be your main things uh, from grab. So yeah, kind of underwhelming when it comes to the grab game, but not horrible either uh tilts down tilt sets up pretty good for tech shake scenarios um and if they miss tech you can do double jab down smash down smash is quite strong not super fast but still fast enough uh to work i don't think side b is gonna be quick enough i'm pretty sure that's a little bit too slow uh f tilt okay like Maybe could lead to like some tech chase scenarios as well uh, decent range uh, Up tilt is actually quite strong Like this move like can you know sometimes legit kill it like 120 as like an anti-air so not too bad See like 110 grounded So quite strong pretty good to like, you know run up Sharking people coming from above and you just like throw it out Yeah, you can also angle yeah, you can angle F tilt So I could see that maybe being like a worse version of Ridley's F tilt for two framing possibly uh, Yeah for smashes down smash went over pretty strong pretty quick F smash is really strong actually uh, quite slow though most likely gonna be very unsafe on shield uh, up smash Not the strongest, but all right. It's pretty quick though. So on unsafe moves and shield I can see uh, Up smash out of shield be one of the better out of shield options because Nair uh, Doesn't cover you know that low uh, So yeah, I could see I could see up smash being the best out of shield move uh, And yeah, then for specials the side B is Banjo's best move. This move is like legit really good. It kills early. You have super armor. Uh, the only thing that seems to be beating it is grabs. But other moves, yeah, you should like go through. So this move can be really good in air dodge scenarios. If like you make it look like, oh, I'm gonna attack them, the air dodge, and then you like catch the air dodge with side B. Uh, and even if they don't air dodge and they throw out a move, you are just gonna go through. Uh, so yeah, that, that move is really good. Uh, neutral B, this move seems pretty useless for the most part. At very, very close range, you can like, you know, get them into a little bit of like tumble, but it takes some time to like cancel it. So overall, this, this move seems very gimmicky. Uh, I wonder exactly how that move is gonna be optimized. But not too good uh, in its current state is what it looks like. Uh, down B is the grenade. This move is going to be important for Banjo, I think. 
the, the, the issue with this move is that when you do it, like unlike Snake, you have the grenade in your hand, you need some time to like catch it, right? And it also is like a little bit inconsistent with how it bounces. Uh, but for the most part, I've noticed if you do down B and you dash up uh, quickly, then you can grab it. Uh, and then if you are in the air, if you do down B, you drift towards the grenade right away. You start drifting right away. And then you can catch it with C. And the grenade actually do have some, uh, some combo potential. It takes a little bit of time to get the grenade, so that's the issue. But assuming you do have uh, the grenade, you can actually do, for example... Oh, now I missed, obviously. No. Yeah, like that is actually like a true combo. Uh, quite specific, but if you do land it, it kills super, super early. He's got to take the, the long time it takes to side B into account, though. Yeah, I'm obviously not good at it yet since the character is so new, but... Oh. Wait. No. Yeah, no, that, that, that kills very early. But even if you don't uh, get that specific setup, you still have... Uh, you can still do the grenade and then run up with either fair or backer, which is also pretty good afterwards. On fair, you need to be really close though, because the fair is very, very slow, uh, while backer is a bit faster. See? I know the combo counter doesn't work properly in ultimate, but that still combos given the right situation. So that's also strong. Uh, and then back here, yeah, combos ease more easily, but not really gonna kill. So I do feel like grenade, like a lot of Banyu's playstyle, I think, is gonna be, you know, like throw out the grenades and use them at like a camping tool, and then sometimes for like closing out stocks. I kind of wish he pulled up the grenade and just held it in his hand from the start. Some people say that that might be, you know, like a little bit strong, but I don't know. I feel like it would help the character a lot. Then for aerials, we have a, a downer that automatically fast falls, which means that I think this move is for the most part not going to be very good. Uh, Nair is a little bit like Piranha Plants, uh, qu quite a lot of lag. You can use it as drag down, and I think you can connect it into like grab, maybe tilts, uh, but quite a bit of landing lag, which is a shame. Up air, not the most range and not very strong, but it's still decent to shark people. Uh, and then back air, you can also, yeah, drag down. Stays out for quite a while, so decent move. And then fair, very slow but strong. Kind of like a Ganon fair. Uh, and as we showed earlier, uh, the the grenade into fair uh, actually do combo at certain percentages. Um, also then for recovery, so you have this move, which is not the best, but you can like up B and then jump after. You can also use side B to recover, and since you have super armor, I think that's a very safe way of getting back. You can only use the side B, like, you have five uh, feathers, and then once you have used all five, uh, you don't get them back until you die. Uh, but, like, in, you know, scenarios where you risk getting gimped, I think just going to ledge like that uh, is going to be very useful. Another thing you also can do is that... Uh, if you have the grenade out, see, up B, then grenade explosion, and then you can up B again. So that's also like a little bit similarity to Snake, while high, like how you can use the grenades uh, to recover. So that's something you're gonna see from bad new players. 
You can probably do it like more than once as well. At least maybe. So yeah, recovery wise, you do have resources. You do have resources for sure. Um, but yeah, overall, overall, I feel like this character not too strong first impression. Yeah, not too strong first impression. Like, yeah, recovery's fine. Uh, the grenade, grenade and side B are honestly the two, the two best moves I think. Uh, yeah, he also has a bonus jump compared to you know the standard fighters, so that's also pretty good. Uh, also help off stage, both recovery wise and edge guard wise. But if I could make one change to this character, it would legit be to get the grenade and the hand right away. Because like, I don't know, I feel like in so many scenarios you want to have this move out and then it takes so much time to set up. And it makes it much more obvious as well, like, even if you do happen to get the grenade in your hand, it's like, it takes so long time that your opponent is gonna be like, more than ready for it. Um, actually one more thing that we didn't talk about, uh, you can use down beef as a ledge trap tool. If you stand like roughly this far away, like, the down beef does bounce slightly differently, but if you stand around, around this range, actually let's put Lucina here, uh, then you're gonna get the grenade to explode by the ledge-ish. You see, always it's gonna be like around the ledge. So that's pretty good for ledge trapping, actually. You can use it a little bit like Inkling's uh, Splat Bomb, where you kind of react to people going to ledge with their uppy, and then you throw it out. But yeah, this, this move is for sure gonna be like, the one move that like really, really helps. Edge guards, punishes, can get comboed into. That's not a true combo. But even in those scenarios, I feel like if you do throw out a move, then it's gonna, you know, if you do like a Lucina Fair, for example, then I'm just gonna eat that and go through. And if you air dodge, you know, and I read that, then you're gonna die. So I don't know. I feel like a lot will be optimizing uh, scenarios into landing the side B. But if I would have to make a prediction right now, based on, you know, my first impression of the character, I think this character is gonna be... I think this character is gonna be like... the lower third of the cast. Uh, but with that said, you should take that with a grain of salt. This character has not been out for a long time, but a lot of people ask me what my first impression is. And to me, he seems lacking. To me, he seems lacking. Uh, but I'm also very curious to see, you know, uh, how the character can be optimized. Like, Piranha Plant is a character a lot of people did rank very low, and a lot of people still rank Plant low, but Brood, for example, got second in Japan with Prana Plant, so I don't think it's like, oh, it's uh, hopeless, this character will never ever be able to do anything. That's not necessarily the case. Sometimes you also have characters that takes longer to figure out. Like, very basic characters, it's much easier to like right away tell. Like, in this game, a character like Lucina, Wolf, Mario, like, some of these characters that are, yeah, a little bit more straightforward. Which makes it a little bit easier to tell, like, roughly how good they are going to be. But yeah, please let me know, everyone, what do you guys think about Banjo? Uh, what moves are your guys' favorites? How good do you think the character is in its current state? 